Hello guys, welcome to Savvy Professor and in today's video I will show you how to distribute columns evenly every time in Google Sheets. Of course to make sure my columns are evenly distributed, of course the first thing I should do is select all of my columns properly. There is two ways to do this. I can either press control on my keyboard then one by one select all my columns or I can just hold one column, the beginning column, then just scroll it all the way across the screen until I get to my wanted end column. When I do something like this, after I do that of course, I can just right click. After right clicking here, there will be a lot of options but no, you want to just scroll down and right now in the middle of screen, under the hide button and up top of create a filter button, you will see a resize option like this. There will be a screen sign and everything with resizing buttons and yes, this resize column will do all the work for us. Right now I will click this. After clicking that you will see that it will want you to enter a new column width in pixels. The default is 120 so you can do any kind of number in here. Since we selected all five of these columns, whatever number I enter here, all of those columns will be the same size. Let's do 100 and you know what let's do 240. Let's double them in size. Right now as you can see they have doubled in size and now they are really really big. But what if I want to just resize all the columns on the screen. I will do shift and then select the first column which is A. Then I will do right until it's over then click the last button as well while still holding the shift button which will select all of the columns on the screen. Then I can just do resize and enter my new data which will be 100, just 100. Right now they are all 100. But you might say B is of course they are all 120 or 100 whatever but A was not actually selected. If you actually or just get caught off by it or just not properly select one of them you can always go right click resize and enter the data as you wish. But other than that that's the simplest fix you can do and the easiest way to actually do it and that was basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you found it helpful don't forget to like or maybe subscribe to our channel Savvy Professor. In any other case we hope to see you in the next video as well. Have a great day and goodbye.